Let's get it. <laughs> On. Goody, goody. Hey, remember at the beginning beginning of the game when we got out of stasis and we were walking all slow? I actually was going to comment on that. <laughs> we were walking slow. Because, you know, oh, we yeah. just had spinal cord surgery done by ourselves. Yep. Yeah, you're not going to be feeling very good after that. Mm-hmm. I don't remember if uh, our comrade uh, was talking to us after we got out of surgery, but... Uh, she... We hadn't met her yet, I don't think. No, 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 I mean just now. Um, like when we woke up. Oh, yeah, she was talking to us a little bit. So She's I... like, I was calling, but you didn't answer. And he was like, bitch, I just did <laughs> spinal surgery on myself. <laughs> and by the way, yes, it hurt very much. She So she also mentions that you were out for three hours. Mm. Uh, which, you know, I feel like in this setting is pretty lucky that you're still alive. Yeah. Well, if you if you looked at it, he was surrounded by that that yeah, he was glass connected. tube, and uh, I mean it was still open at the end though, which um, no, it uh, wasn't. There's a there was oh, it was a, totally was sealed. It was yeah, yeah there was end piece. It was totally sealed. Yeah. Well, then that's definitely so he was safe. good. What? No, no, not here. This isn't where we need to be. It'll be fine. I really, really like this area. Mm -hmm. This area also was incredibly confusing to me, so this I'm glad I played this at a time so we won't be running around aimlessly. Oh, what's left of hydroponics? The shaft's covered in growth. I'm not going anywhere. So, he took the PDT out of him so that he could use the elevator to go down so that... Exactly, because security systems weren't going to let him move otherwise. Right. So he couldn't use that elevator at all before hanging out. Okay. Correct. Um, if we had... So he can't even have it with him. Exactly. Well, okay. that's... Okay, so here's, I was going to say, here's why couldn't he just carry it so that she could still track him? We actually do have his personal data tag on us right now. Oh. It's just not in him. I don't really understand why. Okay. But, yeah, that's, that's a thing. Um, Maybe we're just supposed to assume that we dropped it. No, because it's he has it in his inventory because we're totally going to use it for something later. Um, oh, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right? So I, I found that a bit strange. Maybe the chip itself has a uh, installed and uninstalled state. So maybe right now it's in uninstalled mode so that the security system is not going to recognize it at all. Well, here's, here's where that stops making sense, is we actually grabbed someone else's personal data tag while we were up in the medical ward, and we used it to deactivate the force fields on the doors. By putting it on a seat. Okay, that's okay. So th there's a lot of inconsistencies yeah. going on with this one specific thing, okay. and you know, at the end of the day, it's nothing huge, but it's like, oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this thing. Are you oh, fucking boy. kidding me? What? It's, it's some sort of insect. Your distance. It's tied up. Oh yeah. Doesn't look like it can get loose. Tied up. How big is it? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, a queen bee um, in fact I'll show you down in this area is a swarm of bees that uh, well they'll murder us why are you going there because <laughs> they won't murder me unless I go into the center of the room but you can see like hey this oh boy. dude got like super punctured by them in his you know, very, very dead. Gotcha. Um, so let's we not we should there. save him. Yeah, totally. <laughs> is that what this game is about? Just saving yes, that dude. Saving people. Um, what's even more disturbing is we can access this computer terminal and you know, go over right here and oh, activate suction pumps. We are milking the giant bee. Oh my god. Milking her of her royal jelly. Mm. Oh. Oh my. Bee. You just said the magic words. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Here's, okay, here's hey, yeah, something I actually am frustrated about this game. So, okay, if we touch her, we will die. Uh, she will straight up eat us. What? However... What? Does it give us the animation for that? Oh, yeah. If you, you said oh, wait, if you touch so, her? Here, here. Let me, let me save, and I'll show you... Uh, what happens when we okay, die. Okay, I'm glad that you mentioned save, because I was literally just going to click it while you weren't That's why attention. I hit the escape key, because I was like, nope, nope, do not. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty silly animation, 
but it gets the point across pretty well. It sounds like dolphin squeals. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you had a bee that was the size of a room, it probably would make some pretty weird noises. No, I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh, that was good. Yeah. Uh, I have to make sure I still it have... It sounds like a dolphin. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I lost the jelly, so we have it's to milk so her funny. Again. Dolphins are very serious. Yes, <laughs> very serious. Yeah, you know, get that milk dough. Okay, so here's what I'm frustrated, right? We know that if we touch her, we die. Um, and obviously she doesn't kill us if we stand next to her, which is a little weird, but you know, whatever. I, it's forgivable. We literally have to interact with her, though, to get past this part. And there's absolutely nothing that suggests that we should be able to do this. Um, this is the only time I, while playing the game, I actually had to look up a, a walkthrough, uh, which right now there's only like one person that's played through the game and put the, the whole thing on YouTube. Um, so it's not easy to find. Um, but we just have to sit here and wait for the bee to do something. I think the only hint that we get is from the, uh, the data logs scattered around this area, but I don't think they mentioned that while the bee flails around like that and kicks up dust, that it becomes docile enough to uh, tear off a limb. What the hell? Wow. And you know what we use this limb for? Uh, uh, baby One bees. very specific thing. To break this heart into amber on the floor so we can take it. That's interesting. I feel like... That gun we used previously to bash up things might have been sufficient. I mean, it certainly doesn't have piercing, but I don't know. I find that challenge really frustrating. I mean, I feel like you're going to go in this room right here and there's going to be something that we could shards like of glass. Like plenty of things, or maybe even this metal plaque. Yeah, well, that that is a little strange that... There have been a few of a few of those in this game so far that have just been a little off. Yeah, it's I mean, it's solvable at the end of the day. It's this this one I think was honestly the worst just because there was so little indication that that, that we could actually do something with the queen bee other than milk her, you know. That's still gross. <laughs> yeah, it's incredibly disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Never in my life did I think that I'd be saying that I milked, milked a, a uh, queen bee. dolphin bee. <laughs> queen dolphin bee. So the... I, I think in one of the earlier episodes uh, during this recording session I mentioned that the personal data logs stopped really being useful. This room um, is an exception to that. Pretty much all of the personal data logs in this room are very important. Um, that's how I knew that I could vaporize the, the royal jelly. Uh, that's presumably how you're supposed to figure out that you could tear off a limb on on the queen bee. Um, and that's how I even found out what I used that amber for, uh, which they mentioned that it, it is a... could be used for an adhesive, but also a very, like... Um, I don't know how they described it, but it, it can harden and, and basically perform a good seal. Huh. <laughs> Bam! Kill dumb bees. Just throw at that. What, yeah, that what? was that was the vaporized royal jelly. Okay. Um, and this this one was a little counterintuitive too because there are a lot of things in here that I feel like I could have thrown it at. The only hint is that this is the only fan that's spinning fast, um, which you know that's a pretty decent hint because nothing else is moving that quick. Yes. Why are the bees killed by a vaporized royal jelly? I don't know. Uh, I think there was some sort of explanation for it. It might not have killed them. It might have just like caused them to go to sleep or something. I could buy that. Also, we can poke it. Poke the body. Oh, and that's cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. It's yeah. Pumped. Is is it okay? It's uh, dead. Yeah, he'll he'll be he'll be all right. Yeah, okay. He's just good. It off. You know, no big no big deal. Right. Right, guys? Just a, just a flesh wound. I really think it just drove the bees away. I don't think it killed them. You know? Also, I don't know if you noticed, but I just turned on all of the oxygen. Just oh. all of it. <laughs> but if you light a fire, you're dead. Yep. Which is why we need to... <laughs> light a fire. No. Pick up <laughs> this thing from this body, which is flammable because it's a flare. 
Oh yeah. my. But you'll get to see what that flare is for in the next episode, and oh my, you are in for a rather disgusting treat. I really like this game. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you happy you joined us today, Eddie? Oh, I am. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll see you in the archives. Thank you guys for watching. Quite a uh, change of pace from, uh, what was the last game you recorded with us, Eddie? Futuridium? Yes. Futuridium. Which may not even be on the channel anymore. I might have uh, set that to unlisted. 